uh, our jail and prison ministry and outreach and as an elder here at the church. I'm Pastor Lynn. I am the lead pastor here at Jubilee Church. And next to me is this beautiful lady, April. And April works here at Ju uh, Jubilee Christian Academy. And she's going to bring up a couple of students here in a minute. And then I have Lou and Samantha Kiros. And they lead our prayer ministries here at Jubilee, as well as working in a lot of things on staff. And uh, most importantly, pray for Pensacola, and that's hugely important. So I just wanted to introduce those who are up here before we start to pray. So today I'm going to ask all of the students with me and anybody that is watching online, if you're just joining us on this Facebook Live, to take just these next few minutes we have together as we cover some different areas on our, uh, that we've kind of listed together to pray over our nation. And I want you to join with us and pray. And even if you're watching this on Facebook later and you're not participating live, please watch through and pray it. This whole day we want to dedicate to prayer for our nation. Amen. So right now, I just want us to start. And Lord, we come to you because today is about prayer. It's not even about me talking. It's not about who's here. It's about you, Jesus. Because Lord, without you, we have no hope. There is no possible way we have something to look forward to except through you. Lord, because we've seen what we've made of ourselves and it's not great, but God, you are great in the midst of us, Lord, and you can pull us up. So God, today, I want to initiate this prayer for our nation, first of all, by spiritual renewal and revival in our country. Lord, our nation was fashioned and developed, and at least two major times in our nation's history, we were infused in what we called great awakenings, where your power moved across this nation and even into other nations of the world. Lord, we pray for awakening for this time and this day and this generation, God. Lord, bring your awakening into the hearts of men. Lord, let us not turn to each other or turn to media or turn to social media or turn to our conversations or our opinions about things in this world. But Lord, I thank you that we turn to you because there is no one else that is greater to turn to God than you. And Lord, I pray right now also God for unity. Lord, in a time of great division in our hearts between brothers and sisters, between families, between our nation, God, and itself, Lord Jesus, between these factions and and divisions that we have divided ourselves in every way possible and broken the law of Christ. God, I speak and pray for repentance, God, that we have broken your law and we have not bared one another's burdens, that we have not been there. We have not walked in unity. We have not walked in love. So God, we repent today and we turn our hearts, God, that we would love each other. Lord, that we would love each other like we are supposed to love each other, especially as believers in this day, God. Bring us into unity. Bring us into unity of heart. Help us to forgive. Help us to walk past. Help us to renew. Help us to change, God. Let us come into absolute and total change according to your word and according, God, to your power. And God, I just ask that you would strengthen us today. And Lord, let us see a move of God in this nation. And Lord, I thank you today for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Tim. Amen. Well, I get the, uh, the wonderful privilege of praying over our community. To all the boys and girls out there sitting in your seat, do you love Pensacola? Well, I do too as well. And I know the folks that are watching this uh, love this inc incredible community as well. And so we're going to pray right now over uh, the place that you live, where we come to uh, school every day, where we go to church um, the community that we work in, and, uh, and then we're going to pray that God uses our, this incredible community as a beacon, as a, as a place of hope on how people of every color, um, every background, how we can truly live together. And, uh, and so I just, I want to I pray over that right now. Will you join with me for all the boys and the girls that are in this room and watching as well on Facebook? Father, we thank you right now. Lord, we live in one of the most beautiful communities in all the world. 
<laughs> Father, we are, we are spoiled, Lord, by your creation, God. And Father, we thank you right now, Lord. Lord, we just bombard heaven, Father, on, on, on the behalf of our community, Pensacola, Escambia County, the, the, the uh, Northwest Florida, the Gulf Coast region, God. Father, we have seen so much Lord, we've seen so much great things come out of this community, God. And Lord, we're asking you today, Lord, that Father, you come and you continue to move and to heal and to bless. Father, you continue to create new opportunities, God, for, for young men and old men and young women and old women, God. Lord, uh, skin types of all colors, all nationalities, all backgrounds, God, to come into our incredible community, God. Lord, may they find purpose, God. Lord, they may, may they find jobs, God. Lord, may they find... Uh, houses of worship, God. Lord, may they find Jesus, Lord, throughout our community, Lord. And Lord, we pray right now that, Father, we call our area blessed. Lord, despite what the statistics may say, Lord, we call our area blessed, God. Lord, we call for well-paying jobs, God. Lord, we call for us not to live just above the poverty line, God. Lord, we call, Father God, for, for new businesses to be attracted to our community, God. Lord, we call on, on new businesses to be created, Lord, out of, a, out of a heart, out of a vision of a man or a woman, God. Lord, we thank you for the supernatural resources to start that business, whether it's financing, Lord, whether it's a building, God, whether it's land, Lord, whether it's a business plan, Lord, whether it's the, uh, the university, whatever it may be, Father, we ask you, Holy Spirit, you come and Lord, you breathe, Lord, supernatural faith and breathe, Father God, supernatural resources upon men and women, Lord, that have a heart, Lord, not just to start a business, but to give back. Lord, we are, we are a church, Father God. We love to give back. So, Father, we thank you that you are, you are attracting other men and other women, God. Lord, throughout this globe, Lord, to our community, God, to start new businesses, God. Lord, not just to keep it upon themselves, to build, to build bigger houses, but, God, to give back. And Father, we thank you that you're training up, you're moving upon the hearts and the lives of people to mentor. Lord, you're moving upon the hearts and the lives of men and women, God, to, to take a, 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 a young business owner and, and groom them and, and, and shape them and mold them and pour into them, Father. Lord, we thank you, God, our community is protected. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we call a hedge of protection, Lord, around our community, God, for no more hurricanes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we call protection, God, Lord, along the entire Gulf Coast. In fact, to tell them around the entire United States, God. Lord, we curse, Father God, Lord, the forecast that this is going to be a really, really bad year of hurricanes. Lord, we thank you in advance, God, Lord, that the blood of Jesus covers the Gulf Coast and covers Escambia County and Pensacola Beach and Perdido, Orange Beach, all the way, Father God, down the entire Gulf Coast. And Lord, we thank you in advance that, Lord, you are moving upon the hearts and the lives, God, of men and women, Lord, to, to care for one another. Lord, to get outside of our bubbles, God. Lord, we pray, Father God, against racial injustice, Father. Lord, we pray against economic injustice, Father God. Lord, we pray, Father God, against any type of injustice that holds or controls or pushes people down. Lord, we want to be a community, God, that's welcoming. We want to be a community, God, that you experience the love of God as soon as you drive off of I-10, God. Lord, you experience the love of God when you walk into an incredible church called Jubilee. Lord, when you, walk, when you drop your child off at an incredible school called Jubilee Christian Academy. Lord, we want them to experience the love of God regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of what, what side of the street they came from, God. Lord, regardless of what background they have. And Lord, we thank you right now, God, that you're raising up other churches just like us, God. Lord, we welcome, we welcome people, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father God, from the crack house to the prostitute house to the White House, God. We thank you, Father God. Lord, your grace, your mercy, your love is sufficient, Lord. And we declare that Jesus is Lord over our community. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, for the record, I got a rousing clap of ovation. All right, how many people know it's very important um, to learn the Word of God? And so um, here at JCA, that's what I do for the students. And um, we just want to pray that they receive the Word every day and that seed is planted in their hearts. We have um, a couple of students that's going to represent JCA. Um, if you guys want to come up. 
We have um, Navia and Kwame. And they're going to be praying for our school today and for their generation. And so I just want to open up real quick and pray for them before they open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, we just ask that you open up their hearts, their minds, dear God, their, their words, dear God, that they speak only your words, dear God, and your wisdom, Lord Heavenly Father, that everyone be able to receive online and in the building, Lord Heavenly Father, that your word and your Holy Spirit will cover all of us, Lord Heavenly Father, for you are our house, you are our ground, you, you are what we walk with, Lord Heavenly Father, that you will walk through us, dear God, we are your vessels, dear God, fill us up with your Holy Spirit, dear God, rain on us like rain, Lord Heavenly Father, for you can do whatever we ask for your your nation, Lord Heavenly Father, long as we walk in your will, dear God, for we are your vessels, dear God, and you're going to use us, dear God. I just ask that you use Kwame, Lord Heavenly Father, and speak through him, Lord Heavenly Father. Let his prayers be heard for our for our um, school and our church, Lord Heavenly Father, our surrounding areas. The same with Navia, dear God. Open up her, Lord, her mouth, Lord Heavenly Father. She, she speaks your word, dear God. I just ask that you use them as an open vessel right now for the students of our school, Lord Heavenly Father. We just praise you and give you all the glory, dear God, for you are worthy of it all. Amen. Amen. God, I thank you for another day. I thank you for our nation. I thank you for how you brought us this far. I thank you for how you kept us and from famines and wars. I pray now that you continue to move in our nation, in our um, state, Lord Jesus, that you continue to watch over the presidents. Yes. And I pray now that as they make choices, Lord, they be of your um, choices, yes. Lord, and that they make good decisions for our whole country, Lord. Yes, and I pray now that you give them your wisdom and your knowledge. Yeah, and I pray and I said, Lord, that whatever choices they make, Lord Jesus, that we will benefit, Lord, from their um, decisions, Lord Jesus. And I pray and ask that their um, decisions, Lord, will be of your will. And I pray and ask that you continue to move in our nation, in our, in our world, Lord Jesus. And I pray and ask you prepare our hearts, Lord Jesus, for your return is near. And I pray and ask you keep our hearts and minds focused on your word as we make daily decisions in our lives. And I pray and ask you continue to move in our nation. And I pray and ask that you have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God, for letting us see another day. And I pray that you heal the people who have been broken or who's dying from COVID and that you protect all the people who are like in war and that you protect the United States and heal those who are in pain, who feel like they can't get through it. And that you just have your way and that the war doesn't get in war. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys so much. Wow. I love it when our students are praying. God hears the prayer. Listen to all of our students that are watching. And if you've joined us on, on Facebook Live, again, we are, uh, it's our National Day of Prayer. We've just set aside a few minutes to focus on prayer for our nation. And all of our JCA students are in here and a couple of them just prayed. And let me tell you, God hears the voice of young people when they pray in a powerful way. Amen? Amen. And now we're going to turn it to uh, Sam, Samantha. All right. Well, I am. Uh, I teach in the county, and I work in the education department of Escambia County, and so education is very important to me. Um, so I just want to pray for education, and a lot of times mental illness is tied to that. So Amen. our kids struggle. So God, we just thank you so much. Lord, you are in our halls and our schools every day. Lord, we lift you up right now so that you are over our schools, that your authority is over our schools. I pray for teachers who, to raise up. God, for you to rise up, raise up teachers who are going to take authority in their classroom and pray for their students and pray for the atmosphere in their classroom, Lord, that we would see revival at schools, Lord. I pray for our students to, to become desperate and hungry for you, those that are raised in church, to bring that atmosphere into the school building, into their classroom, for them to minister. God, we took prayer out, but our children can bring prayer in. And so, Lord, I just pray for revival in our school systems, and I pray for you to strengthen and encourage our, our students 
And Lord, there are many problems in our education system, so I pray for our administrators, yes. Lord, for you to come in and for you to just one-on-one -on -one give us strategy on how to clean up the problems that we have and that we notice. Sometimes they're too much for us to deal with, but God, you're over that, and you are in control of that, and we can do all things through you who strengthens us. And so, Lord, strengthen us as we come out of the year of COVID, as we've been teaching. Lord, strengthen us and encourage us as teachers. Lord, and I just pray for our students and our teachers who are struggling with mental illness. And I pray for this, uh, this area. God, we take authority. Lord, you have, you were uh, for, on your stripes, Lord, we are healed. And so I declare that over Escambia County right now. I declare that over our school systems. I declare that over our mental health facilities. I declare that over the churches and the communities in this area. I declare it over the government buildings downtown and any person that works in this town who is struggling with mental illness. God, you are the one who, that bows to you. Yes. Mental illness bows to you. Depression bows to you. Anxiety bows to you. And so we just declare that over Escambia County, that it bows to you, that you are the authority. You are the Lord of this area. And God, you take control over all of those things. And God, I thank you that we've opened up conversations to talk about mental illness. God, shine your light and bring your truth to that so that we can take authority over it and clear it out. And so that people will come to Escambia County to find out how we're dealing with our mental illnesses. God, it is by your name. Our help comes from your name. And we just declare your name over our county that you are in control and that everything has to bow to you. God, I just pray for our students who are dealing with suicidal thoughts. We break that in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. And I just call out the counselors in our school systems and the teachers in our school systems and the administrators in our school system to be the one for that child. God, uh, direct our eyes to those who are dealing with mental illness so that we can step out in your love and pray over them and prophesy over them and, and watch you heal their hearts, God. So, Lord, we just call in your authority so we can have healing in our education system and our mental health in this area. And, Lord, we know that you're going to do it. You are the king. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, 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 man. What a privilege and an honor it is to come before the Lord with a, such a great panel that we have up here today as we represent pr prayer. And um, I just was, as I was up this morning, I was just thinking about it and how our presidents and our nation, we awarded this day to uh, dedicate it to the Lord like we should do every day. Amen. But um, as I go before the Lord in prayer, we're gonna be, I'm going to be praying for safety, protection, direction over our nation and over our community. Let's go before the Lord in the word yes. of prayer. Um, I'm, I'm Chaplain Benjamin, but uh, I, more importantly than that, I'm a son of the most high God. And Let's go before the Lord bombarding heaven. And I want to say this scripture before I um, get started. Um, God laid this on my heart, Acts, in the book of Acts, when he told the disciples to go up into the upper room. Basically what he was telling them was to go up and pray and see change. And uh, we know the aftermath of that. And there was change. And uh, let's go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you. We praise you right now for this opportunity and this privilege that we get to worship and honor you, Lord. We worship you before we ask on anything from you. Lord, we give you worship today. And Father, we worship you. We honor you. We adore you, Lord. We just ask right now, Lord, as we bombard heaven, Lord. Father God, we pray over our president. We pray for safety over our nation, God. And Father, we just give you all the privileges, all the honor, Lord, that's due you. And Father, we just ask right now, Lord, that you give us divine protection, Lord God. Lord, we ask right now that we come on one accord like the disciples did, like the men and women went up into the upper room, Lord. They went up there to bring about change, Lord. We bombard heaven, Lord. We need answers today, God. We need answers for the, the people.
people, Lord. We need answers for our nation, yeah. Lord. Lord, you said in your word, God. Lord, you said, Lord God, we are the answers for the nation that hurting, Lord. We are the answers for the world, God. Right. And Father God, we ask right now, Lord God, God, that you speak to us, Lord God. Lord, we ask like right now, Lord, that you move mightily on our nation, Lord God. Lord, we ask for divine protection and safety, Lord. Lord, we come against the... the the demonic forces that comes against our nation, Lord, and the nations around the world, God. Lord, we, you said in your word, Lord, if we humble ourselves and seek after your face, yeah, yeah. Lord, you say you will give it the desires of our heart. And Lord, my desire, Lord God, is to see our nations yeah. and, our, and, our, and our nation and our people in this nation safe, Lord God. And Father God, we come against the, the, the demonic forces of hell, Lord God, to try to bring forth hell on our people, Lord. And Father, we ask for safety, Lord. Lord, we ask for your protection, Lord. Lord, as we look to the north, south, east, and west, Lord, we call forth those archangels, Lord God, the protector protect us, Lord God, from things seen and unseen, God. And Father, we just ask, Lord, that you just continue to keep our focus on what you call us to do, Lord God, to go after the lost with any cost, Lord. Lord God, that we ask, Lord God, that you give us strategies, Lord God, strategies, Lord God, that we can, we can Bring forth safety, Lord God, and protection, Lord yeah. God. Yeah. Lord God, we ask for woody inventions, Lord, woody ideas, God. Yeah. And Father, we thank you. We praise you right yeah. now, God. Yeah. Lord, you said in your word, if we uh, two or three come on, come together and wow. sever their differences, Lord God, and seek your faith, Lord, you said you would do it, Lord. And Lord, we ask, and Lord, that for your divine protection, right. your divine safety right. over that over this school, Lord God, over my uh, over my de department of corrections, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord God, right now over Chip Simmons, Lord God, over Chief Powell, Lord. Lord, we ask that you protect them, Lord. Lord, those that are coming in and out, they may come to the facility for one reason, Lord. We ask they go out another, Lord. Lord, we ask for their protection, Lord God, as they are incarcerated. But Lord, we ask, Lord, that you move mightily on their behalf, Lord. Lord, you said, Lord God, if we have not, because we have not asked, but Lord, we ask in you, Lord God, to, to protect those that we have of encounter to speak out to, Lord, yes. and to cover, Lord. Yes. And Father, we thank you. We give you praise right now, God. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for that we have this opportunity, Lord God, to, to yes. lift up this city, Lord yes. God, yes. to yes. lift up your people, Lord yes. God. And Lord, we give you praise and we give you honor, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, we just ask that you just continue to bless our nation, yes. bless this city, Lord God. Yes. Lord, these leaders, Lord, our county commissioners, our councilmen, Lord. Lord, we ask for safety over them, Lord. Lord God, our school district, Lord God, we ask for safety over them, Lord. Lord, we pray over our kids, Lord, throughout this school district, Lord. We ask for divine safety over them, Lord. And Lord, Lord, we come against any demonic forces that tries to hinder our kids, Lord, tries to hinder anyone under these this city, Lord God. Right. And Lord, we ask for your divine protection, Lord. Yes. And Father, we thank you. We praise you right now, God. Yes. And Lord, we lift up the bloodstained banner over this nation, on over our city, of the city of Pensacola, Lord. Yes. Lord, yes. this is a city where we will bow to you, Lord. Yes. We will pray to you, Lord. Yes. Lord, we will not pray to no other God but the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Lord, you are the God. Yes. You are the true living God. And Father, we just lift up you, Lord, tonight, today, God. And Father, we thank you. We praise you right now for this opportunity we get to worship and honor you. And Lord, we ask that your protection go before us and your safety go before us, Lord. We give the archangels permission, Lord God, to be everything that they are called to be, Lord. Lord God, we give Uriel permission, Lord God, to let we all walk in peace, Lord God. Lord, we give Raphael permission that we walk in divine healing, Lord. You, Lord, you said by your stripes we are healed, and this nation is healed, and our people are healed. And Father God, we thank you. We praise you right now. And Lord, we pray for that you continue to give us strength, Lord. We ask that Michael give us strength to carry out your assignment on planet Earth. And we release this prayer. In your son Jesus' mighty, majestic name. And it is so. Amen. 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 What a great day.
that we celebrate. So if you just join us online, we're celebrating today. We're, we're, we're praying over our nation. Today is National Day of Prayer over the United States. And so I want to give you a little bit of history of, of uh, what this is. So the National Day of Prayer has a long history in our country, and it was created in 1952 and signed into law by President Harry S. Truman. Since then, the President of the United States has signed a proclamation encouraging all Americans to pray on the first Thursday in May. So that's what we're, that's what we're here for, where we get, we get the privilege of praying over our nation. Um, there are so many nations in the world that we're pro, you know, people are prosecuted. They're, they're persecuted and prosecuted for praying, for even believing in God. And so we, we get the chance to pray, and that is amazing. And so what I want to pray over is I want to pray over our nation. We're not the most perfect nation. We don't have it all together. But one thing we have in common is we love God. And we want to put God as the forefront. God as the king of our nation. God as the head of our nation. And, and, and bless all our, our, uh, all of our presidents and all of our, uh, the heads of our government. They need to listen to who God is. And have God as the foundation and the center of our nation. Everything else is added value. Amen. So I want to pray for that. So if you join me with prayer, God, I thank you for the United States of America. God, I thank you for this amazing and wonderful nation, God. It was founded by you. Our, fa our, fa our forefathers, our founders, God, they had one thing in mission, that people will be free to proclaim you as God, to proclaim you, God. And so, God, we proclaim you today as the God of the United States. And, God, we put you in the forefront, God, and we thank you. God, we thank you because even though there is a lot of issues and a lot of problems in our nation, you are still the God of America. You are still in charge. You are still the God, the miracle working in our nation. And God, we just thank you. And Lord, I just pray today with this amazing group of people that are representative, all colors, all creeds, all races, and even all, all genders. God, we just, we just come together in one voice and we say, God, will you be the king of our nation? God, will you be the head of our nation? God, we need you in this season. Our generation needs you. Our houses need you. Our parents need you, God. We need you in our nation today. And God, thank you. Thank you for blessing America. Thank you for blessing our nation. And God, continue to speak. I pray for our presidents and our leaders. God, I pray that godly men and women will surround them to help make wise decisions over our nation. And God, we just thank you today and we honor you today. It's not a coincidence that we're praying here in Pensacola, Florida. This was the first settlement where we, people came to the states, we were the first that the Luna ship is where the boats from the Spaniards came into settlement, discovering America. So God, we bring it back to you today. We say, God, we're, give, we're giving you America back today. God, we're giving you this amazing nation back to you today. And we say, God, you take control. You be the owner and you have your way in our nation. And God, we thank you. What an honor we have to pray over this amazing nation. And we just thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Well, we want to say a special thank you to all of our JCA kids for joining us today and to all of the, those who have been able to come to uh, just join us for this moment of prayer today on our National Day of Prayer. I want to remind you, if you're watching online today, that the National Day of Prayer can't just be one day, even though... Thank God that we have set a day aside for that, but I want to see us pray for our nation every day. The Bible commands us to pray for leaders. Those that, it doesn't matter if you like the leader, you don't like the leader. We're commanded to pray for the leaders because the Bible says that God raises people up and puts people down that are in power and in authority. And so it's important that we pray for them every single day. Make that a regular part of your prayer and your discipline in your life this year especially, we need it like no other time. And uh, for, for, for where we are today as a nation and for this generation. So thank you for joining us today on the National Day of Prayer for this time of prayer that we've had together. God bless you and God strengthen you. And that's our prayer for you today. God bless.